your daddy can get you a jackknife when you go fishing and stuff like that, all right? So that's just want to make sure that that's understood. Okay, all right. Let me say now, talking about the marriage between a man and a woman, that's what the Bible says. All right, that's what the Bible says. Okay, here's the way that I'm going to say that kind of the way I see this too is uh, exactly like the preacher said. The Bible says that, and that is right. But now this, I will say this about that. If two men live together over yonder, or over yonder, and they want to give, leave everything they got to the other one, so just, just say that. As they say, hypothetically speaking, let's say they want to leave what they've got, everything they've got, stuff to that fellow there that they're, they're living with. Okay, nothing wrong with that, nothing wrong. But now, if when they draw that up, let's not put marriage on that. Marriage is between a man and a woman. It was that way so that the parents could explain later in Oh, when children got a little where children come from, you know how young are, where the babies come from, they could explain that. Marriage, that's what that was for. So they would be together with one another as, as, and share everything. Okay, now if, you, if it's two men living together, they want to leave everything they got to the other one, they could draw, call it a merged partner. They could have an emerged partner. Instead of marriage, call it a merged partner. As long as as you don't mention sex, no one knows anything about anything. They may just, let me tell you this, I had an uncle one time that moved in with a, a, a fella, an older fella one time, because he didn't have no place to stay at the time. They were not, as you say, uh, uh, gay or nothing like that, my uncle was, and the old man moved in with me. And I know the two old women, they, were, they folks that share a, 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 a dorm or something in college, that don't mean anything unless you say I'm homosexual. That's the problem I see right there. Sex has never been ordained by God. In fact, it was the first sin, Adam and Eve and the serpent. And you see what happened to the serpent on that. But like, like I say, sex is the problem. If you don't mention sex to Men or two women can live together, share a place, have a place, and one can leave everything she got. Otherwise, they'll have a merged partner, they call it. Uh, they'll have all the rights, like, you know, married people, that they call it marriage between a man and a woman. They'll have all the same thing. But if you don't mention sex, otherwise, when they go home to their home and they may not have, and sex is not mentioned, uh, they may not be no sex. We don't know. We don't. When you're not supposed to try to find out that sex is between two consenting people of age, and that's where it's supposed to stay right there. You're not supposed to go out and talk about it. It's the old song "Behind Closed Doors." I don't know if any of you have ever heard that. But there was a song that called "Behind Closed Doors." Well, then that's where the sex. Thing's supposed to stay between the two people. It's not supposed to be talked about. It's not supposed to be filmed. It's not supposed. Sex is a very, and I say this to the young people, sex is a very dangerous thing. As dangerous can be as dangerous as cocaine or anything else. If if you start young, say a young person, and, and get hooked on that, it'll paralyze your mind to where you won't learn very good like you ought to most time, then it's going to create all kind of problems. Sex, I think, well, sex is the biggest, most reason all the homeless, abused children in the world is because of sex, you know. And they're 99.9%. They're .9%, I guess there's a few that's been artificial this in similar stuff like that was because of money then. So the love of money and sex is the two worst things out there. And sex is a mighty big one. You're not supposed to talk about that. Uh, parents teach that to their children when they get of age to know they tell them where 
babies come from and how that's, and that's, that's the end of that. And, and, and young people, I say this, don't concentrate or worry about that part. Of that's nature. If it's nature, let it, let it happen naturally between two people. And don't, don't focus on, don't let that be your main focus in life to worry about how sexy you look. Don't worry about that. You need to concentrate on what you're going to do career-wise and that kind of stuff. Don't go around like that and you won't, you won't have near the problems, near the problems. If you want, but if you let that be your main topic and you worry about that and you, you just experiment with that and, and all this, well, now, and two, like I'm saying, what are they going to do? Like on the, on the, talk about teaching the sex education in school. And now they're wanting to tell them about the homosexuals in school. What are we going to have directly? Are we going to have this show and how that goes on? What, what are we going to do about that? Are we just going to tell them? Rick, you're going to have to show them, ain't you? Just like they do the, the, the man and woman. You're going to start showing that? What, what, what's that going to be like? I'm telling you. You need to leave sex out of it. Sex is, is was here for the world to multiply. And that was kind of a, a punishment. And a punishment. It's never been ordained by God. That's why it's, it's not sanctified by God. Sex is not. Sex is not. And so therefore, it's something that you really don't want to, you need, parents need to teach their children. And I say this, if parents don't teach their children, you take like, if, uh, if, uh, if a man goes out and fathers a child and goes on about his business, and that child grows up and never taught anything, didn't have a daddy, if maybe his mother couldn't teach him everything, he gets in trouble, does all kinds of stuff. He fathers a child too, he, or two, three. He don't listen. I think in the Bible we, we'll talk about this for, for seven generations. You're held accountable for that. You'll share in the judgment of each one of those children. So seven generations, unless one comes along that happens to be taught the right thing by his mother, and they become responsible. They teach their children the way to go to think it ended that. So you see that can be they can be a lot to that. Sex is very serious and you shouldn't dwell up on that. Don't dwell up on that. And don't worry about how sexy you look. Just look nice and don't worry about it. You young people go to school and study something else. Study what you're going to do to make a living. Study how you can help the world. And having sex won't help the world. I'll tell you that. That's a private thing. Should be left right there. Write me. Write me and let me know things that you'd like to talk about. Let me know what you think. Uh, or things you'd like to discuss about the Bible. Have us to ask the pastors we have on here, the preachers. What, and that's the topic we're going to be bringing up. Pastor, preacher, reverend, father. Though they like to be uh, use different terminologies. So we're going to be talking about that later on too. But write me at P.O. Box 429, Montgomery, Alabama, 36101. And give me some uh, feedback on what you think about what I was talking about. That if two people live together, they don't mention sex, they have an emerge partner, but don't use marriage. It's just the word. It's the word marriage and husband and wife. It's strictly biblical. It was it was the word used for them. And so if you have a, a if you live with somebody, two women live together, and you can leave them everything you got, it's the same thing. Just call it a merge partner, and and leave marriage out of it, and leave sex out of it. Don't even mention that whatsoever. That's none of our business. None of nobody's business. Sex is between two people of age. All right? Okay. Friends, write to us. And, and if you can, if you can, if you go to church, go to church. Support your church. Give your tithes. And if you have a little left over, you can send us. Take a couple of bucks in an envelope and send it. Or if you want to send a check, make it to CFC. CFC be fine. Crusaders of Christ. Just put CFC on it. Send that to...